We also have a straight state primary election on September 1st and the general election on November 3rd here in, in, the, in the Commonwealth. The registration de deadline for the primary is August 22nd, which is this Saturday, so if you want to vote in the September 1st election, you need to register to vote by August 22nd. You can learn about your voting status if you go to boston.gov slash elections. This year, we're certainly facing challenges to the election process like we've never ever seen before. A pandemic and also attacks from the White House. We are committing to making sure Bostonians can vote safely. We have in-person voting for all elections with safety protocol and with PPE. We've moved some polling locations out of our senior buildings for resident safety, so I think we've moved over 20 locations around the city. Um, you will have received a letter in the mail if your polling location has been changed. If you didn't receive a letter, your polling location has not been changed. We're notifying registered voters if they've been impacted by these polling location changes, and we've also d d done the best we can to make sure that those location changes are very close to your current location, polling location. We're holding early voting again this year, and it begins this coming weekend. For primary, early voting is August 22nd to August 28th, at a total of 18 locations across the city, including right here at City Hall. The general election early vote will begin on October 17th and go through October 30th. So for right now, it's this Saturday, August 22nd to the 28th, if you'd like to early vote. For any information or you want to find out about voting, including early vote locations, we're asking you to visit boston.gov slash elections, or you can call 311 and we'll connect you to the election department. We've also worked to make making vote by mail widely and easy, easily available to all. In July, the state sent applications for mail-in ballots to every single registered voter in Boston. Our election department has received over 75,000 requests for ballots. We've sent out over 60,000 of those ballots to registered voters, to people who've requested it, and we continue to process those requests. I urge everyone who wants one and has not done so yet to send your application in right away. For the primary for mail-in ballots, the, it must be received by Wednesday, August 26th, if you want to get your, your ballot mailed to you. We will process every request received by that day. If you want to track your ballot, you can go to the website trackmyballotmass.com. That's trackmyballotmass.com. Sorry, excuse me. Trackmyballotma.com. That's trackmyballotma.com. You can literally track your ballot to see where it is. Today I'm also going to announce another voting access point. We have placed a ballot box in the lobby of City Hall right behind me. Actually, you can't see it, but I think it's, it's covered up there, but right inside City Hall. It's available Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. No appointment is needed. However, you will be screened for COVID symptoms upon entering the building. And that's folks that have a, an absentee ballot or a mail-in ballot that you don't want to put in the mail and you want to drop it off here, you can drop it off right here at City Hall. You can drop it off also by um, August 26th. You can drop off your applications for asking for a mail-in ballot. So you can drop them all off here at City Hall as well. We request that you turn your completed ballot in as soon as possible. And I just want to remind everyone, when you do the absentee ballot and you get the vote and you're voting, on the outside of the envelope there's a place you have to sign your name. You'll see it. Make sure you sign your name so that the, the ballot is validated. We also have another concern that we're dealing with this election season. The President has threatened to undermine the operations of the U.S. Postal Service to disrupt mail-in voting. We need a strong postal service. We have a strong postal service. The men and women who deliver our mail every single day are out there regardless of the conditions. Many of our seniors and others receive their medications by mail along with their checks and other essential items. To threaten this on the eve of the election during a pandemic is a dangerous attack on the fundamental institution and values. We've been in contact with the Secretary of State's office. I spoke personally to the Attorney General this morning and other members of Congress about this. Congressman Lynch and Congresswoman Presley are on the Oversight and Reform Committee. They acted quickly to launch hearings. I want to thank our congressional delegation for a swift response. This afternoon, we got word from the Postmaster General is suspending the operational changes that were causing this great concern. So we're going to continue to push to make sure that we don't see any disruption in our mail as we go through this election season. 
We're going to continue to monitor the situation closely on a daily basis. As a local government, we're doing all we can to make voting safe and accessible. We call on the federal government to protect and support the Postal Service at this critical time. Postal workers, as I mentioned, have been the lifeline to many residents in this crisis. And now they're helping us to protect our democracy. I want to thank all of the postal workers who are working for us. And also elections are the cornerstone of our democracy and access to voting is a fundamental right. Today marks the 100th anniversary of the ratification of the 19th Amendment to the United States Constitution. It made women's right to vote the law of the land. Boston women led that movement, including black women who had to keep fighting for decades to make that right for them a reality. We take voting rights and voting access seriously here in Boston. We have fought for it and will continue to fight for it every day. I can assure you that we will do everything within our power to make sure that everyone's vote is counted. With 